Well, hello everyone. Welcome to another week of Global Monastery. My name is Nathan Nelson. I'm the pastor of Mission and Outreach at Bethany Community Church. And it's my joy to share with you at the outset of this new week in which we're going to be looking at the theme of Revelation through Nature. Now, sort of parallel to this, we are going through and sort of concluding a series at the church on the book of Job. Now, Job has had quite the journey, and as we come to this final chapter, we begin to see the restoration that awaits at the end um, of the book. Um, but something that's very important is we don't want to go too quickly to the sort of material restoration that we see in Job's life, because if we do that, I think we miss the profound depth of the deeper level of restoration that happens in Joel's soul, in his spirit. And so what I'd like to do is read for you the fifth verse from the 42nd and final chapter of Job, in which Job is responding one last time to all that God has revealed in him, to him. And he says this, I had heard of you, God, by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. I heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you. What Job is getting at here is a greater depth of revelation, a greater depth of insight, of perspective that he's gained on the far side of his suffering by, by who God has presented God's self to be to Job all along the way. What Job gets is a new paradigm for his living, not one defined by guilt and innocence. I did nothing wrong. I didn't deserve my suffering. God, you are the one. If anyone is guilty, you, God, let this happen to me. Not that. Not a world defined by guilt and innocence, black and white, but a beautiful, gray, murky world in which God is good all the time. And this new sort of paradigm for Job's living is found, is discovered within the depth of that insight. That indeed, Job can see with greater clarity the goodness of God, even amidst his suffering. And I believe that's what we're all invited to, to, to today and every day. And um, as we consider this notion of, of God being revealed through nature, that's exactly what nature does for us. It puts on display the grandness of the story for which we're created, the story of God in the world, the cosmos of creation of which we are a part and our place in it. Um, I myself am a surfer, and I, I could show you above my desk here at home uh, is my surfboard, actually. And um, when my wife and I were first dating, uh, well, we'd been dating for quite some time, and it was coming to the point where I thought, okay, it's about time that I want to tell her this all-important truth that I love her. And um, I had this whole plan. I was going to take her surfing at the Oregon coast, a place that's super special to me. And then we were going to go up on a mountainside and I was going to say in front of a panoramic view of the ocean, Macy, I love you for the very first time. But there was a, a flaw in my plan. And that was what I didn't expect um, was it was going to come out sooner than I had hoped. And so what happened was I'm surfing with Macy. We're kind of going through the motions. It's a beautiful sunny day. The light is shimmering on the water. We're bobbing up and down, sitting on our boards, laughing. It couldn't be any more picturesque until, boom, a seal pops up right between us. So cool. We freaked out. We thought, this is so amazing. And I turned to Macy and I was so overwhelmed. I was so excited. I was so sure of this thing. Of, of, of the love that was in my heart, though I didn't intend for it to come out this way, it just came out. I said, Macy, I love. And then I thought, oh no, this isn't the mountaintop experience I had planned. And so I dove into the water and popped up the other side and hoped that she had sort of forgotten. And I said, everything about you. And then quickly moved on to the next topic. Well, I did get my mountaintop experience the next day, but the truth had already welled up and sprouted out for me. And I tell you what, in hindsight, though it wasn't what I had planned, it's even more beautiful in that um, nature, the beauty of the moment, 
the beauty of, of, of the relationship that we had built naturally came to a place and sort of came about and, and was spoken of in response to um, the current sort of organic circumstances around us. And so that's what I think nature um, can do for us, is it can reveal in many ways what we already know to be true in our hearts, the love that we have for others, the love that God has for us. And my hope for all of us as we encounter nature in unique ways this week is that that love can well up from within us in ways that we can't plan for ourselves. So may it be so. Great to be with you. I look forward to the week ahead on this topic. Take good care.